I'm slowly making her a whiskey person. She just doesn't know it yet. Mm -mm. Okay, time for another whiskey. If you know from last video, this whiskey today is my wife's choice as the wheel landed on. I gave her a budget of $100. She definitely pushed the envelope on that, as you'll find out later. But she picked a first for the channel. It's a blend. So it's a blended scotch whiskey. Uh, James Buchanan, Special Reserve 18. I couldn't find the exact whiskeys that were blended with this, but I think it's 15. Um, the youngest being 18 years old. So the way that you put age statements on blended whiskeys is it's the as old as the youngest whiskey. So at the very least, the youngest is 18 years old. I'm not sure what the other ones are, but if you have a 25 year in there and 18, it's 18. So I'm gonna pour this out. Okay, I've never encountered this before, so this should be fun. You gotta like shake it while you pour it. I have no idea. We're gonna have fun together and learn. I'm gonna smack my glass everywhere. There we go, look at that. I've never encountered that before. Some of you might be like, this guy's an idiot. You are correct. All right. I like that color. Um, it's a nice, like, golden amber color. I'm excited to try this. Um, when I first got into whiskeys, I was like a Johnny Walker guy. It's because, like, Johnny Walker is the apple of, you know, blended whiskey. So um, I'm kind of excited to get back into a blend. Um, I've seen mixed things about this one, so I'm going to give it a nice little nose here. There's a little, there's a little peat on that, a little peat ethanol. It's subtle, subtle oak, but there's also some lightness in there. And some nuts. Yeah. There's actually a lot going on in this nose, probably because there's 15 whiskeys in there. Maybe a hint of banana. There's a lot going on. That is a fragrant nose, and I'm enjoying it a lot. All right, I'm going to give this a taste now. So the peat nose is absolutely not present in this palette at all. That's a very light palette. But I'm going to say I'm a little let down based on what I smelled. That is a palette that just completely vanished. There is no complexity with this. It is 80 proof, 40% alcohol. I'm going to say it this time. Um, I'm going to give it another taste. I'm going to just try and get this going here. Okay. So that's, that's pretty light. I get some more nutty oak notes there. The banana is gone and so is the peat. But with that second sip, that finish is kind of sitting nicely, and I think I'm getting a little bit of vanilla notes as well. That's a better... The second sip was definitely better than the first sip. That was nicer. I'm going to go a third, I think, on this. I need to... I need to swish around the old mouth. Three sips in. Got some oak, some nuts. A little grainy. It's very light, not quite floral, but I mean, I guess I can just say fragrant just on the tongue. The, the finish is very vanilla-y. It's, it's a very nice, warm, sweet finish. I, I do enjoy that. Um, I have to say, I'm just a little underwhelmed with the entire experience. The nose, I was excited because I had some peat and I, you know, I'm an Isla guy, I like that peat. Um, but with the taste, it kind of just like all this like went away. It was like complete opposites. Um, so I think if I'm going to give this any finger scores. Oh, including this, I need to say. So the budget was $100. The site that I get my whiskey from, I sent it to the wife and said, hey, just go find the whiskey that's $100 or under. Well, this one was on sale for $99.98. So I saved two cents. Thanks, honey. Um... And then I come to find out that my local store, it was $89. And then I've seen online it's about 80 bucks. So we're going to take like the median and just say it's like $92, we'll say. Something like that, 90 bucks. Um, for $90, um, this experience was a little underwhelming. 
as you've probably seen in my first review I've ever done, the Lismore 18, that was $70. That was terrible as far as the value went. So I'm not going to say this is terrible as far as value goes, but from what I'm getting, I don't believe $90 is what I would pay for this. I would probably pay, I'd pay $65 for this. I think that would be a more of a fair uh, price point. Um, the nose alone with the price, I think 90 was going to be fine. But the taste kind of just was underwhelming. I'm going to say that. There's no complexities. There's no deepness going on. Um, I kind of sip it and it's gone. The finish saves it a little bit. So I'm going to give it a three fingers out of five. Just because I like the nose and I like the finish. The the upfront kind of sip palette is kind of like, eh, it's fine. It, I mean, it's worth it. If if you were if I was going to spend 65 bucks on something, this would probably be a four. But because it says it's about 90 you know, $95. I spent $99 on it. So even in my case, it's even worse. So, but because I sell cheaper prices online, I'm going to stay at three, I think with this. Um, it's a good little sipper, but good little sippers aren't $90, at least in my opinion. So I'm going to give it an actual fourth and final sip, see what's going on. And in fact, there might even be some cereal in there too. Doesn't save it from the three. Um, so yeah, to make this not be as low as it is, I think again if it was $65 or just anywhere anywhere under 80, it's probably where it's going to be worth the actual price point and be a really not good value for maybe three and a half or a four. Um, with without the taste, you have nose finish price point. I think it's three and a half. So because this is my wife's choice, I decided, hey, might as well have her sip it again. It seems to be a recurring segment. So why or what made you choose this one when I gave you the website? The price. That's it. <laughs> well, I also wow. know that you didn't do, you haven't done a blend yet. So they had categories on the website and I saw blend and I was like, oh, let me check that out. And then I basically narrowed it down by price and I saw a 99.98 and I picked that one. Well, thanks. Now, my whiskey-hating wife can now have her own choice here. See what it tastes like for her. Now, she and actually did enjoy the Alcantoshan. It was 40% alcohol, triple distilled, pretty smooth. This is also 40% alcohol. Uh, we'll see. I think it's pretty smooth for me, but we'll see what she thinks about it. Smell first. Yeah, sure. Give, you, give it a little nose. Mm. Little bitey. Bit. I'm not sure. That's you don't have to like it. She's not a whiskey person. No, that's true. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Mm. Oh wow. I didn't hate it. Okay, she didn't hate it. That's good because the last one um. she just wanted to throw it away, throw it at me. <laughs> so Compare it to the Auchentoshan, since we know that you actually enjoy the Auchentoshan. Uh, the Auchentoshan was very smooth and felt lighter. Is that one as light or is it a little more? I feel like that one has a little bit more depth to it. Okay. I guess. Is yeah, that I mean, for? sure. Um, there's, there's a lot more taste in this one. As the Auchentoshan just felt like it just smooth. I didn't really have a lot of taste in that one, but this one I feel... Do you get any specific notes out of that? You can't mm. cheat off me. <laughs> no, I I mean, there is a little... Honestly, I don't know, because I don't really know. Do you have know. any vanilla on your finish? So the finish is nice, though, right? Like, once you actually are done yeah. sipping it, it's better than when you first sipped it, right? Now, you said the second sip was better than the first. Mm -hmm. We'll have to have so a second should one. should I have a second you one? You should have a second one. <laughs> okay. You might as well. I'm slowly making her a whiskey person. She just doesn't know it yet. Mm-mm. Second one is better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I do get some vanilla on there, actually. And the, which one is better to you right now, the Alcantoshan or the, this? If I would drink straight. Yeah, you're drinking neat, yeah. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Neat, neat. There's no rocks. There's no ice. Oh. In. <laughs> I would drink. I would drink this one. All right. There we go. Hey. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Let's spin the whiskey wheel. See what's going on next week. I'm going to make a little rule. I'm not going to let it 
land on back to back same spaces two weeks in a row. So I'm if it lands on wife's choice, we're gonna spin it again. So let's see what's going on. Ooh. Ooh, we got the IO seven year Japanese whiskey. That'll be fun. So there you go. See you next time.